So on this video of missing serial killers, we're going to be discussing the Long Island serial killer, also referred to as the Gilgo Beach Killer or the Craigslist Ripper. Uh, they're believed to have murdered between 10 to 16 people since 1996. The first bodies were discovered in December of 2010. Maureen Brainerd Barnes was an escort who disappeared on July 9th, 2007, planning to spend the day in New York City. Her body was found in December 2010. Shortly after disappearing, a friend of hers received a call from a man who claims he saw Maureen alive and staying at a whorehouse in Queens. The man did not give name or location of the house. Melissa Bartholomew was the killer's second victim. She was working as an escort through Craigslist. When she went missing on July 10, 2009, she met with a client, deposited $900 into her bank account, and tried to call an old boyfriend. A week later, her little sister began receiving calls from a man using Melissa's cell phone. Over the course of several taunting and vulgar calls, the man eventually told her that Melissa was dead and he would watch her rot. Some calls were traced to Madison Square Garden, Midtown Manhattan, and Massapequa, although the caller was never found. Megan Waterman disappeared on June 6, 2010 after placing escort ads on Craigslist. The day prior, she told her boyfriend that she was going out and would call him later. When she disappeared, she was staying at a motel 15 miles north each of Gilgo Beach. Amber Lynn Costello went missing on September 2, 2010. She was a sex worker from North Babylon, New York, which is 10 miles north of Gilgo Beach. She reportedly met a stranger who offered $1,500 for her services. Four more bodies were discovered in March and April of 2011. The bodies were found about one mile apart and five west of the December bodies. Only one victim was identified from these. Jessica Taylor went missing in July 2003. On July 26, 2003, her dismembered torso was discovered 45 miles east of Gilgo Beach. The torso was on a pile of wood at the end of Halsey Manor Road. Plastic sheeting was found underneath and a tattoo had been mutilated. On May 29, 2011, a skull, a pair of hands, and a forearm found at Gilgo Beach were identified as a match for her. Jane Doe No. 6 was found as a head, right foot, and hands on April 4, 2011. The rest of the body was found on November 19th in the same part of Manorville as Jessica Taylor's remains. The torso was wrapped in a garbage bag and dumped in the woods near Halsey Manor Road and Mill Road. The right foot had been cut off above the ankle. John Doe was found on April 4, 2011, very close to the original four victims. He appeared to be a young Asian male that died from blunt force trauma. Police stated that he had likely been a prostitute and dressed as a woman. The body of a female toddler was found about 250 feet from Jane Doe No. 6. The body was wrapped in a blanket and showed no signs of trauma. DNA tests showed the child belonged to Jane Doe No. 3, who had not been fully discovered yet. Jane Doe No. 3 was partially found on June 28, 1997. Her dismembered torso was found at Hempstead Lake State Park. The torso was in a green plastic container that was dumped next to a road on the west side of the lake. On April 11, 2011, police discovered skeletal remains inside a plastic bag near Jones Beach State Park. In December 2016, the torso and remains were identified as the same person. Jane Doe No. 7 was found on April 11, 2011 at Toby Beach. A skull and several teeth were found. These were linked by DNA to severed legs found in a garbage bag on Fire Island on April 20, 1996. There are several other suspected victims, but they have not been definitively linked to the killer as of yet. We still don't know if there is one or more killers at this point. A photo of a belt buckle found during an early stage of the investigation was released by police. It is a black leather belt embossed with the letters of WH or HM, depending on how you hold it. Thanks for watching the video. If you liked what you see, please consider subscribing, and we'll see you next time.